Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see if we know how to use percentages in examples like this. Let's say that Jim spends $12 of his $50 on food. What percent of his total budget is that? So the way to convert a number to a percent, we first need to convert it to a fraction or to a decimal. So let's use it, let's try it both ways. So we're going to write this as a fraction. So we can write $12 divided by $50, and we'll leave the dollars off, 12 divided by 50. Well, before we can turn that into a percent, we need to convert that into a fraction whose denominator is 100. So that means that if I multiply the denominator by 2 and multiply the numerator by 2, I now have changed my fraction into a fraction that has 100 in the denominator. That gives me 24 over, and I should put an equal sign in there, 24 over 100. And now that we have it over 100, we can convert that to a percent because whatever the number is over 100 is equal to that many percent, 24 percent. We could have also written it as a decimal. So what that means is we can take the number 12 and divide it by 50. So to do that, we say that 50 does not go into 12, so we need to add a zero to that. So we go zero there, point. And point here, add a zero, now we have 120. 50 goes in 120 two times. Two times 50 is 100. The remainder would be two, drop another zero. 50 goes to 200. Four times, four times 50 is 200. That gives me zero. In other words, 50 divided into 12, or 12 divided by 50 is equal to 0.24. So now we've, we've changed that number into a decimal and then we can write that as 24 percent because whatever we have to do decimal places we have the same number in percent so that would be the methodology to convert a number like 12 of 50 into a percent let's say the next problem states that a jacket that costs 24 dollars is 30 percent off what is the sale price so what we need to do is first figure out what 30 percent is of 24. So 30% of 24, well, that means that we're going to multiply this because the word of means multiplication. That means we have to convert 30% into a decimal. So this is equal to 30 divided by 100 multiplied times 24, or this is equal to 0 0.30 multiplied times 24. So 0.3 times 24, 0.3 times 20, that would be 6. 0.3 times 4 is 12, that would be $7.20, like this. All right, that means that the original jacket cost $24. We get $7.20 off, so the new price is equal to the original price, which is $24, minus the $7.20 off. And so 7 from that, that would be 17, that would be $16.80 as being the new price, which is 70% of the original price. That's another way to attack it. We can say 70% of $24 is equal to 0 0.70 multiplied times $24. 0 0.7 times 2, that would be 14. 0.7 times 4, that would be 28. 14, 28 would be indeed $16.80. So there's two ways to attack the problem. We can subtract the 30% from the original price, or we can calculate the 70%, which is what would be left, of the $24 of the original price. Either way, you get the same result, and that's how it's done.